occupied. Over a million have been killed. All of them are innocent. Not a single death can be justified. Eight years for the people of Afghanistan. 60 years for the people of Palestine. But they are not alone today. We are here today to stand with those people. And as long as they suffer under the boot of U.S. imperialism, we will, will be in the streets to smash U.S. imperialism. <laughs> and we are here because we understand that the only change that will come out of the Obama administration is a change in how these criminal wars are managed. And whatever is done in foreign policy and domestic policy will be in the interest of Wall Street and the banks. And this is why in the Answer Coalition, leaders and organizers who are also veterans and active duty service members have formed a task force to take on this new period of struggle. We do not just demand an end to the criminal wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. We demand that all U.S. bases in the world be shut down and that funding all criminal governments end and be funding in Israel and Colombia and Saudi Arabia. We demand an end to racism and sexism and homophobia and all forms of bigotry. We demand that all those involved in pursuing war for profit, the politicians, the CEOs, the lobbyists be indicted for war crimes, <laughs> including the media outlets that acted as a mouthpiece for the Pentagon. And we demand that the money that is used to 